You're listening to the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. Inspiration for you as you walk by abounding faith, hope, and love and live your God-given dreams. Hi, audacious dreamers and doers. This is Nancy Gavilanes, author, speaker, and life coach, and welcome to today's Motivational Monday message. It's February, and I'm curious how is your year going? I hope that you are making progress in your God-given dreams. I hope that you are seeing fruit from some of the prayers and action steps that you've been taking. I want to encourage you that the Bible says that we're to live by faith and not by sight. And so if you are familiar with my story, you know that God called me out of my journalism career and I had no idea what I was going to do next. I went on to teach English at a Christian school, at a middle school for a year. Then I worked as a communications specialist at a nonprofit affiliated with Columbia University for many years. And over those years, I learned and I grew in my faith and I served in so many different ways in my church facilitated different classes, went on evangelism outreaches here and far, went on five short-term missions trips. But I also, I just felt like I had this burning desire that God wanted me to write for his glory one day. I felt that as he was asking me to lay down my journalism career, that one day he would ask me to pick up my pen and write for his glory. And it was a process. It was a time of transition, of frustration. Ever been there where you feel like God has placed a dream in your heart, but you don't see the movement? You don't know the next step? Well, I want to encourage you first with one of the resources, one of the first books, actually the first book that I ever wrote, Waiting on God Well, How to Prevent Breaking Down on Your Way to Your Breakthrough. If you're there, if you're frustrated and you don't know what the next step is, I want to encourage you during that season. And we're always waiting on God for something, whether in our personal life, in our business, in our ministry, in our career, we're always waiting on something, healing, salvation for loved ones, to meet our spouse, some battle with fertility issues. But so many have read this book and have been encouraged. It has helped to inspire them during their waiting season. And so during that time, people would just tell me, oh, just wait on the Lord. And that was all nice and good and everything, but I didn't know practically what did that mean. Obviously, it doesn't mean to sit in a corner and to not do anything, right? But it's also just being very mindful and intentional and prayerful about our next steps and saying yes to God. See, God knows what's on the other side of our yes. And so if you are there struggling, I definitely want to encourage you to pick up Waiting on God Well or all five of my books. They're on Amazon. They're available in print and on Kindle. There's Bible verses in Waiting on God Well, there's a place where you can journal, there's prayer starters and action step ideas. So it's really packed with a lot of information that will help you. I know what it's like to be in that desert season where you don't see God moving and you don't see your answers being, that your prayers being answered. You don't see the answers. And so I wanna encourage you not to quit, not to give up and to just keep going. But also, if you're there and you you know that this year is the year to go to the next level, this year is the year for breakthrough, this year is the year to take that next step, then I want to encourage you to invest in yourself and the dreams that God has given you and to contact me about one-on-one life coaching. I'd love to help encourage you to go from frazzled to focused and from frustrated to fruitful and from fearful to fierce contact me. I'd love to help you prayerfully come up with an action plan to make progress this year in your God-given dreams. Of course, it's a process and a journey, but I'd love to pray you through, hold you accountable, and help you come up with a plan, a customized plan, based on my framework on transformation, Bible-based transformation, as in abiding in Christ, being rooted and grounded in Christ, and then going out and doing the good works that he has ordained for us to do. So if you could use some clarity, some confidence, and some courage, if you need help in those areas, definitely contact me about one-on-one life coaching. I'll leave links in the show notes, as well as, as I've mentioned, if this is the year that you want to write a book or you're hitting roadblocks with the book that you're working on and you feel God is calling you to honor him by writing, then definitely look into the one hour strategy, write that book coaching call that I also have made available to you. I'll leave the links in the show notes. And so that's my message for you today. 
to walk by faith and not by sight. It's okay if the road isn't quite clear, but as you pray and as you abide and as you take steps, it gets clearer and clearer. And with time, you will look back and say, oh, now I see why I had to go through that process. So I hope this encourages you. If so, please leave a like, a comment, a share, subscribe, whether you're watching the video or listening to the podcast episode. And I am praying for you and cheering you on and look forward to hearing how God is opening a way, making a way where there seems to be no way and how you are experiencing breakthrough and how you are experiencing fruitfulness because that's the most important thing, just to be faithful to what God's calling us to do. Not to compare and to compete. What God's calling you to do will look completely different than what he's called me to do. And that's okay because we are each unique and we are each special and God has a plan and purpose for each one of us. Amen? Okay, until next time, God bless. You've been listening to the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. For more encouragement on your faith journey, visit AboundingFaith.com and follow Abounding Faith on social media.